Hey guys, I'm an animation student who loves making and playing games. Recently, I've thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if someone recreated popular mechanics from games in a free game engine? And since I've been playing some pretty cool games myself recently, I thought I would give it a shot. I'm finally playing The Witcher 3, because of course I had to play the previous two games in the series and listen to all the audiobooks before I jumped into this masterpiece. And before that, I just finished Assassin's Creed Origins, which is my favourite in the series. Both these games have one mechanic in common. Mounts. Specifically, calling them and then mounting them to ride around. You get mounts in games like Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, The Witcher series. Even the Batman games has a cool Batmobile. So I recreated this mechanic in Unreal Engine 4. And in this video, I'll break down how I did that. The first thing I did was create an AI based blueprint with the behavior tree to make the AI guy move to the player, wait 3 seconds, and then continue to follow him around. I also added a nav mesh in the level to make him be able to move around. Now, to create the mount itself, I created a child blueprint of the AI base BP and set the skeletal mesh. To a custom speedy bike I downloaded and customized. Then in the game mode I created a custom event that made the mount spawn behind the player's camera and I ran this event whenever the player pressed the button. Now it started to feel more like a callable mount so let's make it so our player can ride it. For this I created an interface called interact interface and inside I created two functions interact and toggle input. Then I made so the player and the mount inherits this interface. I made the player check if he is overlapping an actor that inherits from interact interface. And if he does, then create a prompt text above that actor. And then I made it that if I'm overlapping an actor I can interact with and press the interact key, attach the player to the actor play the idle animation and possess that actor. And then in the mount BP, if you press the interact key again, you will detach the player, set the Adam BP instance back to the player's Adam BP and possess the player. So at the moment we can't control the mount, so I added some simple controls. And then to make it more similar to the mounts in games, I created a little piece of code in the game mode that made it so I can only have one mount in the level at a time. And then I created a little function in the mount that made it so if the player is a certain distance away from the mount, the mount will destroy itself. And this is the final result. Thanks for watching guys, please give a like to this video if you found it useful. I'm thinking of creating a full length step by step guide on how I created my mount system. Please tell me in the comments if you're keen for that. And also let me know if you want me to create any other mechanics from games. And subscribe if you want to see any future tutorials. Thanks guys, see you.